there are many games that we would love to show but no longer have. If you have a copy of a game that you think could be a classic, please get in touch with WSCS TV at 920-459-6663 and maybe we can get that game into our next classic series. Steve Steinprice and Randy Recolitis provide the commentary as four bowlers vie for the championship. Karen Beyer, Shelley Witter, Jody Pepper, and Jen Richter are the bowlers. Three seed Shelley Witter makes it to the championship match, but will she be able to defeat number one seed Jen Richter, the best bowler in the field? The action is exciting as each match goes down to the end to see who will advance. The championships were held at Odyssey Fun Center, and Larry's Distributing was the primary sponsor. Now it's time to get a soda and a bowl of popcorn and to sit back and enjoy the game. Welcome to the Budweiser King of Beers Classic Bowling Show. This show is brought to you by Larry's Distributing, Odyssey Lanes, and TB8. Hi again, I'm Steve Steinkreis along with Randy Recolitis, and we're here to present to you the competition from Odyssey Fun Center in Sheboygan Falls. Today we are presenting the Women's Championship Match for 2001. You will see three one-game matches. The winner of each match will be the person that rolls the highest score with handicap and advances to meet the next seeded bowler. Well, Steve, today's first match will feature our fourth seeded bowler, Karen Beyer. She'll be bowling against our third seeded bowler, she Shelly Witter. The winner of that match will bowl against our second seeded bowler, Jody Pepper. And the winner of that match will meet Jen Richter. The winner of that last match will be our women's champion. With that said, we'll get rolling right after these messages. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. Whether you ride a bike or drive a car, you must yield the right-of-way to pedestrians at marked and unmarked crosswalks. At intersections, always look for pedestrians before making a turn. And slow down in school zones and neighborhoods to keep our kids safe. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. Welcome back to Odyssey Fun Center. We're ready for our first match. We will have Shelly Witter leading us off against Karen Fire. Shelly will start on lane number three. Well, Steve, Shelly's coming in with 117 average, and Karen's got 167 average. Um, we have a 50 pin difference in averages. So Shelly's got 50 pins extra in handicap. Off with a six count on lane three. Well, we've gone through four men's semifinal matches and we're now presenting the ladies' championship match. Uh, after this show, we will then have the men's championship match coming up in the future. Hope everybody had a good Christmas. Yes. This is airing the week between Christmas and New Year's. Shelly starts off with eight in the first frame. She's got 116 in frame number one. Karen's first ball of the match. With a seven call. <clears throat> Karen says that she's basically a self-taught bowler. She said she started bowling about 14 years ago. She's had a high average of 169, high series of 640, and a high game of 240. She also opens. Slow start here this morning for the ladies. Well, they're nervous. Uh, I was talking to a couple of them as they were warming up and 
They said the tournament was fun, the qualifying is exciting, being on TV is really exciting, but they don't know how they're going to act. to get rid of the nerves? Yes, it is. Now Shelly up in her second frame. Shelly Bowles in the Wendy's... Wed, <laughs> having a problem with Shelly here. Today. Get the tongue out of there. <laughs> the Wednesday Ladies League here at Odyssey. All right, she answers right back with a strike. Shelly's got her mom and her dad, her brother, her friend Brian, and her son Billy here watching her today. Must have been off too much for Christmas. The mouth just isn't working right yet. <laughs> Could be, Steve. <laughs> oh, nine count. Possible double. Didn't get it. Shelly really throws a straight ball. She's just your regular league bowler throwing a conventional grip plastic bowling ball. Just relies on her accuracy. She walks towards her target, lets her arm swing, swings the ball right at the pins. Doesn't have to worry about any kind of spin or hook. She rolls them right at him. Great conversion. Well, Karen's working on a strike. Shelly keeps filling frames. Karen's going to need a strike. Pick up those 50 handicap counts. She will. She gets a double. That's what you want to do. Karen bowls in three leagues. She bowls Monday in the Monday Nino's League over at Lakeshore for the Gold Rush. She bowls in Tuesday Polar League. And she bowls Wednesdays in the Maple Leaf 77 League for the point driving. Can she get three in a row? Oh, oh boy. Split. Kind of negates the double she just got. See what she can do on trying to convert this. Fourteen. Karen now has 123 in the fourth frame with her handicap. Shelley's up in the fourth, working on a spare. These girls went through the same kind of qualifying that Matt did. They had to bowl four games across eight different eight um, lanes. Shelly in her qualifying had games of 201, 172, 191. Wait a second, Randy. I think I'm going to start over here. <laughs> Boy, not the only problem with Shelly here today. I think I was off too much for Christmas. Oh, I hope everybody watching is enjoying our screw-ups. Uh, so as I was saying, Shelly had games of 142, 129, 111, and 144 for a 526 stretch for four games. And her 432 pins in handicap gave her a 958. She was our third qualifier. Well, after four frames, Karen has 123, and Shelly has 160 in the fourth frame. Shelly's just missing the head pin to the right here, Steve. And again, that was our fifth frame, our Bud Shop gift certificate frame, which she did not qualify. She would have needed a strike. She would have got a $5 gift certificate from the Bud Shop located inside Larry's Distributing on Playbird Road in Sheboygan. The Bud Shop is open year-round for people to come out and buy their Budweiser, Budweiser Bud Light merchandise. Great spare conversion. Well, we'll see if Karen can stop the streak here. We it's been a show in the game now that we haven't been able to give out one of those certificates. Hopefully we can give one of those away right here. Let's hope for a strike. Crossover? Oh. Well, Karen in her qualifying shot games of 201, 172, 191, and 153 for a 717 scratch total for four games. Plus 232 handicap for a 949, and she was our fourth qualifier.
Karen is struggling on her strike. She's had two strikes and three opens through five frames. Not going to pick up that 50 pin deficit very quickly. Karen Byer works at Lear Corporation. She works in the factory there. With an eight cone in Karen's six frame. Convert oh, another miss. That too. Boy, boy. She's really struggling. Yes, she is. Well, Shelly's already got three fills this frame. That's about average for 117 average bowler. Yes. Yeah. She's doing just fine. Just a real simple delivery. Walks straight. Rolls the ball down there. She opens up a 57-pin advantage through five frames. That's a lot. It's a huge deficit with only four frames remaining. She can convert this. It'll go over 60. Nope. Just misses it. Back down to 48-pin difference in the match. 140 to 188 through six frames. Shelly lists some of her hobbies as hunting, fishing, NASCAR racing. She also says she likes to sing in the shower. I'm not going there. <laughs> well, maybe she'll sing if she wins this whole thing. <laughs> well, you'll have to ask her that, Steve. <laughs> oh. Chris says she started bowling three years ago for Odyssey Lanes. Chris Muso. Says she taught that Chris Musel is her coach and she taught her everything she knows about bowling. Chris Musel was left handed bowler on her show last year. See if she can convert this fair. Oh, just misses again. Barely missing him. Well, Karen's going to make a run here and she better start right now. Chris finds herself 48 pins down in the match. The chance to gain 10 here in her seventh frame. Add to it. There's the crossover. There it is. Start. That's what you need now. She can get that double. Karen lists her hobbies as stock car racing, playing softball, and camping. The corner man is corner person is Jerry Gumtoe. match will receive $30. The winner will move on for a chance at the uh, $125 first place championship prize. That was, Steve, that was a big conversion. The lead's down to 37 pins with three frames. See how Shelly does in her eighth frame. Right in there. Even a five pin. Right in the middle of the game. Should be an easy spare for her to convert. Throw the ball right in the same place. Bears up in the eighth. 37 pin lead for Shelly. That's what she needs to do. She needs to just match what Karen's doing. Uh, she won't lose any of that 37 pin lead and move 
want him to meet Jody Pepper in the next match. Oh, and she gets a big strike in the ninth. Big, very important. Pins just caved in on that shot. Yeah. Well, she's not trying to play out of her game. She's just playing the way she normally bowls in league. Stay around the pocket, make some spares. 79 and the eighth for Karen. Still a 38 pin difference in this match, Randy. I, it's getting down near the end. I don't know. What do you think? It's looking pretty good for Shelly right now. Yes, it is. I think she will be moving on. Let's see if Karen can cover this and strike out in the 10th round. She's got the spare. Both bowlers, very similar style. Stand, stand in the middle and throw the ball right around the pocket, make your spares. Karen has a possible 229 game here, and Shelly has 227 right now. So. That strike. With that strike, what does Karen she qualify get, for? <laughs> Karen gets her name entered into the prize package, $150 prizes from Blair's Distributing, Budweiser Classical Folding Chair, and the Budweiser sign, as you can see on our screen right now. Karen going for a double. Can she get the double? That's the double. Unfortunately, I think that's a, a lot too late. Shelly yeah. basically needs three pins in the 10th frame. Yes, she does. If Karen gets a strike. One last one. What the heck? Finish it off with the turkey, right? Yes. She finished her match very good from the seventh frame up. Strikes, fair spare, and possible turkey. And she does. That's too bad. Finishes the game, she had six strikes in that game, Steve. Wow, just had those opens at the beginning. I'm sure the nerves you now were affecting her. We can, we'll be talking to her after the championship match and we'll find out. She just needs three pins to win this match. So that's plenty. Shelly is the winner. Possible 255 with a spare and a strike. She will be moving on to meet Jody Pepper in match number two. Will be Mrs. White. 243. So with that, we find Shelly Witter defeating Karen Byer. In game number one of our ladies' championship final, 243 to 229. Shelly will be moving on to meet Jody Pepper in game number two. We'll Shelley. be back with that game right after these messages. There is no such thing as a small distraction. A public service reminder from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Speak out against distracted driving at decidetodrive.org. Welcome back to Odyssey Fun Center and our Budweiser King of Beers Classic Ladies Championship Finals. This is game number two. We will have Jody Pepper bowling against Shelly Witter, winner of game number one. And Jody will be starting this match on lane number three. Jody comes in with an average of 138, Steve. So her handicap will be 87 pins to Shelly's 108. Over cross, over strike. Shelly will be starting hers. Shelly bowled an excellent game, her first match. 243 to 229 over Karen Byer. Shelly just wants to stick near the head pin here. And there she is, another nine count. Oh, 
Let's see if Shelly can start out on a positive note. Look at this fair here. Oh, she pulled it. So she opens her first frame. She did that last game too, so she'll get it back. Jody Pepper qualified second for the show. Shelly climbed, climbed the ladder from the third position so far, so we've got three against two here in this match. And an eight count in her second frame. This year's uh, benefactor for this tournament is Project Youth of Wigan. Every entry, $2 was taken out of every entry for the tournament for a total of $140, and that check will be presented to Project Youth shortly after the men's championship match. Oh, another one. Sure, she's not happy with doing that, but let's see if Jody can start it out with a crossover strike if she can capitalize on that. She's got to make up 21 pins from the start. Shelly's two open. Knock 10 out of there already. Looks like she's been spending some time working on her game, Steve. She bowls very, very similar to our um, ladies' leading qualifier, John Richter. They are good friends. And if you watch their styles, they're very similar. So it looks like she's probably been working with Jen a little bit on her game. Oh my gosh. Chops off the, leaving the 10 standing. We have 126 for Shelly in the second frame, and Jody with 115. 11 pin lead for Shelly. Six count in her third frame. Pulling the ball across her body. I'm sure she's aiming. Um, she's not relaxed and just letting her arms swing. She's trying to really do that. I can see that. She's just got her, she's got her husband in the corner. I think he'll tell her to relax. Her husband, Tony, who is also a corner man for Ben Cleveland in the men's bracket. And Ben will be on the championship round later on. Kind of an unconventional cover of that spirit. Use the wall. Done. That's what the whole lane is there for. Use that wall. Well, let's see if Shelly can get on track. Just misses the head. Six Shelly's got to catch that hip pin. Yes, she does. She's in trouble shooting all them spares. All them pins on the deck are not easy for making spares. Shelly's a crew member at Culver's. She's had a high game of 189, a high series of 419, and a career high average of 129. Better conversion. It's fair. Both these girls show that they have only been bowling for three years. Shelly now bowling on lane three in the fourth frame. Still maintains an 11 pin advantage in the match. Still early. Though. Oh, comes up with high with a big split. Not lucky at all. Well, hopefully, she can take two out of this and add to the count. Sit down and get regrouped a little bit. I like how she takes her time. She doesn't rush. For bowlers that are learning this game, she's doing she's doing it right. She's just taking her time. She doesn't rush. 
Shelly has 150 pins in the fourth frame. Jody up in the fourth, working on a spare in the third. Just closing in on that hand gap. Yep. She can pull within seven pins with a strike. Oh, oh my gosh. She too gets a split in her fourth frame. Oh, it looked pretty good from back here. We've got a 10 pin difference in the match 142 to 132 in the third frame. So Jody can slide this split conversion over. Takes two pins. All right, nine pin difference in the match. Here we come up into the Bud Shop frame. Any bowler striking in the fifth frame will receive a $5 gift certificate from the Bud Shop located inside of Larry's Distributing on Playbird Road in Sheboygan. Bowlers are eligible each and every fifth frame. Steve, it's been five games since we've had a winner. That is amazing. Early on, we were giving away those certificates very easily, and now the bowlers are struggling in their fifth frame. That looks better. I think we gave one away. Finally. That was a great shot. As yes, well. it was. Let's see if she can answer. She's, oh, she's got that sleeper also. Eight count with the sleeper in the back, and that's going to be a hard spare for Shelly to pick up being a direct bowler. All this, she's got to hit that thing right on. See if she can do it. Jody actually could be tighter with the lead. Shelly's only had one fill this frame, or this game, I should say. She needs to get something started here. Yes, she does. Oh, yep, she broke it up. Just out the seventh in. She should be able to convert this spin. Get back on the board here. Jody Pepper is an accountant at Kohler Company. She lists her high game as 208 and a high series is 535. High career average is 138. She bowls here on Tuesday nights on the team called the Pink Ladies with Jen Richter. She also bowls in a couple's league with her husband. The name of that team is a pack of peppers. Jody. in the sixth frame for Jody. With a spare, she'll take a two-pin lead. These ladies are bowling for the um, loser of this match will receive $52. The winner will move on for a chance to win the $125 championship prize. Oh, again, it's the second time she's picked the 10-pin clean. Wow. Keeping the match close. Keeping the match close. With that open, Shelley's moved back in the lead. Yes, she has. Let's see if Jody can um, get it back together here in her seventh frame on lane three. Again, she's just kind of pointing the ball and not just free swinging. Let's see if she can get back another crossover. She wiggled it. Lee is a five. Pick. She should be able to pick this up, those things. She looks frustrated. You know, she's thinking, it's like, what am I doing? <laughs> but they're nervous. I mean, this is, this is exciting for everybody. The crowd got really quiet, too. We need some strikes. We need some, 
some things happening. Get the noise going. Covers the spare. Eight shots. Okay. Shelly's working on a spare in the sixth. With a strike, she can take a 10 pin lead here. Well, it should be an easy spare for her. That's what she wants to do. Like you said, keep the ball in the pocket, keep it around the head pin, leave those single pin spares. Eleven pin difference in the match right now. Spares are all important. And she converts it. Great shot. All right. Shelly will be bowling in her eighth frame with an 11 pin lead. I can't add with a nine <laughs> pin lead. That Christmas break, you know? <laughs> oh. People are watching this. Um, between Christmas and New Year's, we wish everybody a happy holiday. That was a great back strike. strike for Shelly. Well, Jody needs to stay with her. Yes, she does. She's nine pins down. Jody lists the best part of her game is the beer frame. She says her husband doesn't give her enough money along to pay for the beer frame, <laughs> so she's got to win. <laughs> we are a tough crowd, aren't we? <laughs> oh, oh, she boy. didn't need that split. Oh, that's devastating. This stage in the game, the eighth frame being down by a mark. Now she's down by 11. I didn't mean that premonition to come true, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's a good chance of making this though, I think. Let's see what she does. Oh. Too much on the end. All right, coming up in the ninth frame, Jody needs to get something going here. Yes, she does. It's still a close match, so one, one or two marks separating the girls. They still have two frames to go. A lot of time. String a little, two or three strikes in a row. Puts her right back in the match. That looks good. Great shot. What a time for that shot, Steve. That looks good. Brings a sigh of relief. Well, let's see if Shelly can keep the pressure on her. She's been doing well since the fifth frame. Two spares and a strike. Chance for a double. A double here would be really big. Right through the heart of the pin, wow. Steve. Leaves the big four. Four, she six, left seven, that one ten. earlier in the match, too. Right back in the match. Right back in the match. This is really exciting. For anybody tuning in and watching this, this bowling tournament is open to all league bowlers in the Sheboygan area. It's a 100% handicap um, tournament. Bowlers of all styles, all averages have an opportunity to make this TV show. We encourage everybody next year to contact Odyssey Fun Center, find out what dates of qualifying are going on. Uh, Steve Richter and the staff here at Odyssey will arrange for you to get your qualifying in. You can qualify as many times as you want. It's a uh, low-cost entry fee for an opportunity to win some money and bowl on TV. See, this is a frame. Shelly gets a big strike. That enters her into the drawing for the $150 gift package from the Bud Shop, which is a Budweiser collapsible folding chair and a huge Budweiser sign. There's a picture of it on your screen. Shelly working on a strike. She could really put the pressure on. Jody is not out of this match. Can she get a double? Oh, a wow. big double. That forces Jody to get two strikes in the 10th frame. But Jody is not shut out, and she can shoot 256, and Shelly with another strike will have 254. Wow. 
possibly for a tie, Steve. We still haven't had one in two years. <laughs> I'd kind of like to have one of them ones. Yes. See if she can do it. All important. Santa Collins. 251. Great game for Shelley. 251. All right. Jody needs a double in the tenth frame. Take Has to get time. one at a time. Oh, good release. Never finished. Get up. Well, Shelly will advance to our championship show against Jen Richter. Jody will take home $52, finishing in third place. Well, let's hope she can make this fair and get a chance to get her name in for that drawing yet. Yes, she does. Girl. All right. Well, so far, Karen and Shelly have qualified. We'll see if Jody can get her name in there, too. Maybe we can get all the girls in after that drawing. That'd be great. Jody does get that $5 bunch up gift certificate from her strike in the fifth frame, so. We'll pre present that to her later on at the end of the championship match. We'll have a chance to talk to all the girls. Let's see if she can get her name in that drawing. Eight. Oh, eight all right, 234. 234 game for Jody. Shelly moves on to meet Jen Richter. Well, here we are at the end of game number two. We have Shelly Witter defeating Jody Pepper. 251 to 234. Shelly Witter will now advance to the championship final match against Jen Richter. We'll be back for that match right after these messages. Hi, I'm David Collins, superintendent of the Wisconsin State Patrol. We're Brewers fans. Brewers fans are the best fans in baseball. We live responsibly because we always have a designated driver. Always have a designated driver. Fans don't let fans drive drunk. Brewers fans don't let fans drive drunk. Respect, Respect the road and buckle up. Every trip, every time. Responsibility has its rewards. Go, Go Brewers! Go Brewers! Go Brewers! Go Brewers! Welcome back to Odyssey Fun Center and the Budweiser King of Beers Classic. We are in our ladies championship game. Jen Richter from Sheboygan will be leading us off on lane number three. Steve Jenny's average was 207. 18 pins handicap. Oh. Jen is one of the best women bowlers in the area. Yes, she is. And she proved it again in qualifying for this tournament. What were her games? Jen had 248, 212, 223, and 218 for 901 scratch. Wow. 225 average. Jen's got to give up 90 pins handicap. The way Shelly's been going, that's not going to be easy. Shelly has won two games. She defeated Karen Beyer, 243 to 229. And then Jody Pepper, 251 to 234. And Jody moves right over into the corner seat for Jen <laughs> to cheer her on. Well, Shelly starts out with a tough split again here. So she can get two and get out of the frame with nine pins. Oh, boy. She started out every game struggling, but she turned it on at the end of last game, finishing those last five frames really strong. Let's see how she does in her second. Loose her arm swing. And it's short. Great shot. Well, Jen needs to get striking. Let's start working on those 90 pins. Jen's had three career 299 games, a high series of 761, and a career high average of 215. She works at Sheboygan Title Services. Jen 
it's just like the ball is a little tentative right now. I think uh, her natural game is a little more aggressive. So I'm sure she's just trying to get a feel for her ball speed and the lands. They only got one practice ball in each lane, so she's going to have to adjust quickly. Both plastic ball across lane at the spare and covers it. On her first ball, she's using a Storm Super Power Proactive Ball. Drilled at a 10.30 drilling, it's called. It's a great drilling for her down and in the game. The ball will not snap. It'll more or less roll and just arc up to the pocket. See, she's real tentative. Yeah, that ball should be very slow. Yes. Even the veterans get nervous. <laughs> I don't know if she'd be happy with you calling her a veteran, though, Steve. She's a veteran. <laughs> for Jen in the third frame. Shelly working on a strike. It's just handed something. This is this is really ironic. This is the second time Shelly has met Jen in the finals of a championship match. How is she going to do? Another double for Shelly. Wow. I think she has the um, she has one up. Shelly beat Jen last year in a Pepsi Challenge tournament here at Odyssey for three hundred dollars. Man, she's got her number. There's... So there's a little confidence riding there, saying, "Hey, I can pull good." Just the head pin on that one for a seven count. She needs to stay clean here. Jen's capable of running them from here. Yes. Let's see how she does in this fair conversion. She takes two. So we have a 101 pin lead for Shelly in the third frame. Open in the fourth. Now Jen's up on the fourth on lane four. She needs to get something started here, Steve. Yes, let's see what she can do. She knows she has to throw some strikes to make up that 90 pins. Nope, just not getting that ball to finish strong. Needs to just be a little more aggressive. Still a little tentative for her natural game. Her natural game is a little harder and a little more, more direct. Very good cover. That was her Scooby Doo ball. Well, this is Ken's fifth frame. She gets a strike. What does she win? A $5 gift certificate from the Butt Shop. The Butt Shop is located inside of Larry's Distributing on Playbird Road in Sheboygan. Bowlers are eligible each and every fifth frame. I just can't seem to give those things away today, Steve. No, we are. Jody is the only winner thus far. Ladies are bowling for the championship prize of $125. Uh, second place will receive $75. So that's what they're bowling for here. And of course, the all-important championship rights. Great spare conversion. All right, Shelly, here she goes in the butt shop frame, going for that $5 gift certificate. If she can convert a strike. First. Seven pins. She's got the sleeper five oh, pin back there. Not a good thing. This would be another tough spare for her. That's a ball. What she should do is move over to the right and try to clear it that way. She always lines herself up on the she right. She stands side in the there. same place. Oh, yeah. Just moves her it. eyes. She just moves her target. She never moves her feet. Oh, Rookie bowler learning. 
All right, we got an 80 pin lead for Shelly. 80 pins and five frames to go. That's not, that's still pretty comfortable. She's only lost 10 pins since the beginning of this match. This has been her favorite lane. Eight count for Shelly. Shelly says her biggest thrill in bowling is the tournament. She says, I usually do better in them. Probably she, she's a new bowler. She probably has fun with her teammates when she's bowling lead. She gets to a tournament. She knows she has to concentrate a little better. Great spare conversion. All right, Jen needs to get going here, Steve. Start chipping that way at that 80 pin deficit. I see by her bio, she loves Bing Crosby. Bing Crosby, I guess. We'll have to ask her about that. She also says her favorite professional bowler is Amleto Monticelli. She thinks he's dreamy, she says. <laughs> uh, another another ten pin. nine count. She has yet to get a strike. I'm sure she's being it's frustrating for her. It's kind of reminiscent of the Lee Montemeyer match in the men's division. I kept leaving those 10 pins in the same fashion there. Yes. Six pin would just fall on the channel and not kick that 10. Boy, Shelly's a good spare shooter. I'm sorry, Jenny. Straight and direct. What Scooby Doo is that another one of those special balls for shooting spares? That's a network. Cartoon Network plastic ball. I had, um, yep. It's just great for shooting at 10 pin spares. You don't have to worry about it hooking away. You just kind of have that good, good accuracy. You gotta let your arm swing. There's a little more aggressive. Did you see the follow up? Yeah. That now ball got inside 10 though. Right. Same problem the men were having in that area. As soon as they got the ball inside a little bit, the ball wouldn't finish. She gave out a big sigh of relief after that ball, like, come on, what can I do? Jen does not have a strike yet, Steve. No. That's frustrating for a lady that averages well over 200. Oh, no. the ball just didn't want to get over it. backed away on the oil. Wow. So maybe Shelly has a little jinx over it. What do you think? <laughs> I think so. This match is... Pretty much over, Steve. With that. Oh, a strike for Shelly. The best Jen can do is 215. Shelly's got 209 right now on the seventh frame. Three frames to go. This match is over. Yes, I think we have a champion. Wow. Shelly advances from the number three seed position to win the ladies' championship. sure she doesn't want because she's not really worrying about the score. She's just trying to continue bowling. Boy, we certainly didn't think this was going to happen. But anybody can beat anybody in a one-game match. Yes, they can. Particularly when he's 100% handicapped. Shelly's been bowling good all day. She started 243 her first game, 251 the second game. She's well on her way to another big game this game. She's putting it together at the right time. Yeah, when you base that off the handicap of 225, she's basically still bowling 25 pins per game over her average, 25 to 30 pins. That's tough to beat. And you see that strike by Jen there? Relaxed her arm swing. Just let the ball go. Uh, turn the brain off and just threw the ball. She knows the match is over. She can have to score. It's too bad. Well, let's hope she can strike out for a decent score and get qualified for the Bud, Bud Awards in the 10th round. Everybody watching, we want you to stay tuned after our last commercial break. We'll have a chance to meet 
and introduce all the bowlers in today's finals, talk with them a little bit, present their checks and prizes to them, um, along with the championship track to Shelley. That nine counts, Shelley right now has 247. She makes a spare. She can build on that in the 10th frame. Boy, big game. Here again, she started with that open, but came right back with a double. A couple opens and just came right back with good marks and spare. This time she moves over, goes cross lane at the spare, and makes it. It's spare. Boy, oh boy. Great showing. And she should it? be very proud of herself. Yes. Well, she's already qualified in the 10th frame for the Butt Award, so we just have to wait to see if Jen's going to qualify. Scoreboard. Covers that spare nicely. Boy, what a strike. She can have 276, Steve. Wow. What a final. She was 28 pins over. She was almost 30 pins over. This one almost 50 pins over her average. 275. Great round of applause for our champion, Shelly Witter. Now Jen Richter finishing out her 10th frame. She has a chance to qualify for the Bud Package, $150 prize pack donated by Larry's Distributing. It can be picked up at the Bud Shop located on Playbird Road. She gets a seven count. Hopefully she can make the spare and still have one opportunity. I'm sure Jen is really frustrated with her performance in this match, but she did average 225 in qualifying. She justly deserved to be the high qualifier in this tournament. She just could not get her timing going and find that strike line this morning. We've got one last chance here for that $150 prize package. Come on, Jen, let's see you get it. Yes, let's get your name in there. Jen Richter, 275 to 190. And we will be back to interview all of our girls and our champion, Shelly Witter, right after these messages. So stay tuned. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic, and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. Yes, welcome back to Odyssey Fun Center and our Budweiser King of Beers Classic Bowling Show. We're here with the ladies' championship final just being completed. And we're here with Karen Beyer, our fourth place finisher. Randy has some items for Karen. Karen, we've got a $30 check for you as a result of your fourth place finish. And you've also qualified for an entry into the drawing for the Budweiser package, the mirror and the chair behind us. 
Congratulations. Thank you. So in your match, you started out a little weak, but you really, really finished strong. Yes, I did. Were you nervous at the beginning? Very much so. <laughs> Very much so. Did you enjoy this format, this competition? Oh, yes. I enjoyed any competition. Yes, it showed. And it, I know um, Shelly started out a little shaky, and you started out yes. a little shaky. She throws those couple strikes in there, and then you have a couple opens, and then you finish really strong to put some pressure on her, but a little strong too late, huh? Yes. Well, Very congratulations much. On, you. on what you did, and we look forward to seeing you back maybe next year. Okay, thank you. Okay. Well, now we'll bring in our third place finalist, Jody Pepper. Congratulations thank on you. third. Thank you. Uh, Randy has some items for you. Um, Jody, you get a check for $52 as Great. a result of the third you. place finish. Um, you get a $5 Bud Shop gift certificate for your strike and your favorite beer frame. Oh, yes. <laughs> and you also, no, you did not qualify for the. Uh, prize package for the 10th frame strike, but um, congratulations. Thank you. Place for Thank you. So about your match. Yes. How did you, were you nervous out there too? Yes. <laughs> Who wouldn't be? <laughs> no, it showed. It looked like you kept on pulling the ball. You were trying to aim instead of just bowl and swing your arm. And then again, when the match is over, you relax, you let your arm swing and you bowl a lot better. Yep. Well, all of these things you'll learn. So next time, hopefully you come back and make the finals again and yep. do a lot better. Thank you. Okay. Well, good luck. Thank you. And now we're bringing our second place finalist, Jen Richter. Hi, Jen. As a Hello. result of your second place finish, you get a check for $75. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, you did not qualify for the um, Budweiser package, and you didn't get the strike in the beer frame, so I don't have anything else for you. <laughs> but Steve does have a question for you. Sure. So what's this love affair with Bing Crosby? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know when it started. It's been... <laughs> He told you to ask me that. <laughs> I don't know. Ever since I was little, I guess. Well, you put it on your bio. That's I why know. I wrote it down here. <laughs> and um, so I suppose you were wondering, where are the strikes? Yeah, they're in practice. I think I used them all up. But that's all right. I had fun. You did. Yeah. And I, I see that you have two vendettas now to get back at Shelly for. Yeah. She beat you earlier in a Pepsi Challenge tournament. Yeah. And now she got you again today. Well, congratulations Thank on you. second place and good luck again next year. Okay, we'll bring in our champion, Shelly Witter. And we'll bring up Mr. Hummage from the, um, our, our main sponsor. He has a check to present to you along with Randy. Uh, Randy first, I suppose. All right, Shelly, well, for your championship, you get a check for $125 here. Okay. Ken Hummage will present that check to you. Congratulations, Shelly. Thank you. <laughs> Um, you have also qualified for the prize package, the lawn chair and the uh, mirror. It, your name will be entered in a drawing, which will take place after the men's championship show. Okay. Well, you bowled great today. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, games of 243, 251, and 275. Mm -hmm. um, what a fantastic finish in each match, huh? Thank, yep. That's amazing. It's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Were you nervous? Very, very. But you did everything right. You, you, when you needed to get a mark or a strike, you swung your arm nice and free. And for a, a lady who's just learning this game, yep. believe me, you're doing everything right. So just keep on doing Thank it, you. and congratulations. Thank you very much. All right, we'll look forward to seeing you back again next year. Thank you, I will be. <laughs> well, on behalf of Larry's Distributing, Odyssey Fun Center, and TV8, We'd like to thank everybody for um, watching our ladies' championship match. We look forward to everybody being here for the men's championship match coming up in the future. And be back again next year. So again, thank you from the Budweiser King of Beers Classic. I hope you enjoyed this WSCS Classic. Because of the handicap format, it is important that the bowler who is behind rolls strikes. Jen Richter was not able to do that, and in the end, that cost her any chance at the crown. Shelly Witter bowled well in each match and always made it tough on her opponent. She deserved to win. Our next Classics game will feature a North-South game from 1990. Yes, it is the Cobra game. You won't want to miss this Classic. Until then, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road. There are many games that we would love to show but no longer have. If you have a copy of a game that you think could be a classic, please get in touch with WSCS-TV at 
6-3, and maybe we can get that game into our next classic series.